Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is all about my favorite perfume samples. And yes, I tell you perfume samples because I don't really have their full size, but I've been wanting to buy a full size for myself in like forever. <laughs> so if you wanna know what I recommend or what my favorite perfume samples are, then keep on watching. about a year ago when I bought the Sephora perfume sampler where you get a voucher to exchange it for a one full-size item of your favorite perfumes of course I had more than one favorite right um, but just to start off I'm not a perfume expert of course everybody's different everybody's preference when it comes to scents are different and if you don't like scents at all this video might not be for you if I had the money to buy what would I want to buy in full size? So let's get started. Okay, this per first perfume is by Derek Lamb 10 Crosby and the perfume name is Looking Glass. The notes for this perfume is Chinese Magnolia Tonka Bean Madagascar. So let's go ahead and smell it. Cut up these paper to actually spray the perfume on. That way I don't mix the scents. This is a very fresh and floral scent. Actually, a lot of the perfumes that I really, really love are floral scents. So nothing too spicy, nothing too earthy. So I love fresh, floral, sometimes fruity, but not sweet. Also those fresh beachy scents, beachy. <laughs> I imagine going to the pool with this, uh, maybe at a pool in Vegas. Derek Lamb is a designer, but also um, he's recently come out with this perfume line, which is very like kind of spontaneous, delicate. So this Miu Miu brand, I remember getting a rollerball perfume in it. So the notes are Lily, Dog Rose, and Aki Gala Wood. I don't know what that is, but definitely you can smell the Lily and Rose. Really has that fresh floral scent. Perfect in the springtime, I imagine. Like something that you could wear to a summer wedding. I'm not the best person at describing perfumes. Hopefully when you see the notes and the way I describe this perfume and maybe the packaging could entice you in buying your next favorite perfume. So Miu Miu is not new to me. I have the rollerball size in it. I tend to buy smaller size perfumes. The biggest that I own is like a one ounce. I don't know, I just love those cute little bottles and it really allows me to try other perfumes, especially when I feel like I wanna have a perfume collection someday and so I love those tiny perfumes. Do perfumes expire? I don't know. I'll get back to you on that, by the way. Next one, this Joy Dior Eau de Parfum. So I think this is definitely a perfume that I want to buy next. The notes for these are Neroli, Rose, Vanilla, and Woody Accord. So the scent for this is described as warm florals. Yep. You know, when I smell it, I definitely smell some spiciness to it. I think that's why this perfume is described as having a warm floral scent. The first thing that I smell is like a woodsy scent, um, but definitely there's a spiciness to it. So I imagine that you could wear this perfume on a date night, you know, something that's a little bit stronger. I do own quite a few floral scents. That's why I wanna branch out into this one. I definitely imagine it for date night, like a nighttime perfume. So the next perfume sample that I have is by Gucci, and it's the Gucci Premier, um, and the notes are bergamot, orange blossom, white flower, musk, leather, and wood. So let's give it a try. Mm. I don't know if I'm being misled by the descriptions online. This scent is described as a powerful or sensual scent. I don't know about sensual. Actually, I would describe the Dior Joy as a sensual scent. This is definitely a more mature scent. I don't smell the orange blossom like a citrus scent. Definitely has a more mature scent to it. 
but I love it either way. The next one is a perfume by Hermes. You know, when you think of Hermes, you, you think of the bag, but never the perfume. It is definitely one of the more expensive perfume out of all of the seven that I'm gonna mention today. The notes are jasmine, watery notes, kumquat, and grassy notes. So let's give it a spray. Okay, right away, definitely a beachy scent. That watery um, scent really stuck to me. I mean, if you could put a smell on water, <laughs> that's it. It's so fresh. I think this would be top two that I would love to purchase in the near future. But this is such a light smelling perfume. Like, it wouldn't be offensive to someone who hates perfumes. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people would love this. I feel like it's such a fresh, light scent that everybody could enjoy. Even for someone who's not into perfumes, I think this is something that they might like. Online, the Hermes, for Hermes, 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 the Hermes perfume is described as having an elegant and serene scent. I agree with the word serene, like kind of laid back, relaxed, you know, nothing too powerful, definitely a lighter, brighter scent. Next one is the Valentino. It's in the scent Donna. And the notes are black currant, jasmine, glandiflorum. I am back. Um, my camera overheated, so I had to take a break, but I'm starting to lose the light, so you might see a difference in the lighting. It, the notes are black currant, jasmine, glandiflorum, and bourbon vanilla. So let's give it a whiff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You can definitely smell the bourbon. It's definitely strong. It has a very slight berry scent. Kind of like a slight sweet, but it's still more on the fresh side. I imagine this as being like a winter perfume, you know, because it's pretty strong. And it's actually described as a warm floral on the website. So... Yeah, I definitely agree, but that bourbon, you know, it kind of like hits you at first. I don't think it lingers, but initially you can tell that, ooh, okay, there's a shot glass of bourbon in there. <laughs> so there is some sweetness to it, which I like. It's a much stronger perfume than what I'm used to, but definitely I love, love the scent. And then the last one that I love is the Michael Kors Sexy Amber. And the notes are Amber, Sandalwood, and Jasmine. Let's go ahead and give it a spray. This perfume is described as a warm, seductive scent. And I totally agree. Sometimes I feel like it's borderline on the cologne side, but it's still very feminine. I just looked up what Amber is and it's basically like a uh, warm and musky scent almost honey like so that's where i'm getting like kind of like the fruitiness like the warm scent so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of give you guys a more idea if you're in the market for buying a new perfume you know there's a lot of great scents out there definitely i'm biased because um i love fresh floral scents if you're like me who loves the same kind of, you know, scents, then definitely you'll love my recommendations. So hopefully this helped you guys in some way and that you've learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos once a week. Join the family. There's always something to learn here on my channel. And with that said, I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye.